We don't have a lot of Linux on our accounts. So we don't see a ton of them down here. And Linux has a lot of bells and whistles. So here's something I have not noticed before. I don't know if this is a pretty new feature or what. This is a 2015 unit. There's, I noticed there's wires here going down right there with the uh, sensing bulb for the TX. It's kind of hard to see because it's right down in there. It's this yellow and pink wire right here. And it goes down and there's like a something with the sensing bulb. So I found it, looked at the wiring and found it here on the schematic. So I found it over here, R52 resistor TXV control. I'm like, huh? They're calling it a resistor, but basically I believe it's a heating element. Kind of like a miniature crankcase heater. It's mounted down there. And it has to be that because you got your 24 volt rail up here, 24 volt power. I mean, it's just spilled right over it. That's 24 volt rail coming down, feeding the top of that, um, resistor which is the pink wire it even says on here r52 j18 slash 24 volts ac i mean they actually describe on the wires what all this stuff is and where it goes it's very descriptive so that j18 it goes to j18 it's 24 volt power feeding that and then the, the common side of it has a switch S16 in series with it, and then S16 goes down to common. So if you look at this electrical circuit, when S8, <laughs> when S16 closes, it closes a circuit, you got 24 volts applied across this resistor, which like a PTC would be, like a, you know, or something like that. You know, it's, you put current across it, it gets hot. And I believe it's just a, like a crankcase heater. It's just a little heater. And if I look at S16, it's this one right here. And you look on that there. And look at the pressures. I'll put it on screen there. The pressure is 550 to 400, so I believe it probably open, uh, closes at 550. I don't know if it, yeah, it must. And open back up at 400. But basically when uh, that switch is closed, it has 24 volts across this and heats up that sensing bulb. <laughs> which in turn is going to put, you know, opposing pressure in the dome against the spring, counteracting the spring, and feed more refrigerant into the coil. So some sort of a automatic control based on head pressure to manipulate the TXV. <laughs> it's interesting because it's just called a resistor uh, TXV control. My curiosity got the best of me. I have my meter in there and that yellow wire. Okay, that yellow wire is what goes to common, actually. So if I'm reading 24 volts here right now, I'm actually reading it right here above the switch. That means that if I'm reading 24 volts, I'm reading through the resistor to hot, which means the, the common is open because the switch is on the common side of that. So yeah, that switch must uh, close on rise then since the compressor is not running. It's these two terminals right here, common 24 volts to tap for that circuit right there. So, huh. The proper way to uh, test that would be to uh, put your one probe on 24 volts all the time. And then this is gray wire, you know, your source for common, which is 24, but it's, it's switching common to the switch. You're going to put that in there, which is the spot of the switch, and you're going to read zero. Now, I, now I'm actually reading across the resistor right here, these two points. And it's zero. But when that switch closes, it feeds 24 volts to that. So that obviously the uh, the fan motor's got to kind of plug the fan motor. That first pressure switch should close. Close at uh, 550. The uh, high pressure switch does not uh, interrupt the compressor until about 640, I think it said. The pressure should be climbing now. Forever. There it goes, it clicked. Yep, now I'm gonna plug that back in. So it must have hit 550. Let's plug the fan relay back in. So when it drops below 400, there it clicks, it opens. Huh, interesting. I wonder what conditions are met to make that want to do that. Because what are you gonna hit 550? I mean, and that's like heating that up is like gonna make it like flood refrigerator. Why did they do that? 
I can only make educated guesses at this point, which is obviously it's going to heat that sensing bulb up and dump a bunch of refrigerant in there. Maybe, see my brain is just going. You know what? Maybe also the thing is um, there is not, a, it's maybe it's a safety device because maybe there's not as much uh, volume in these uh, micro channel coils as there was in the old style coils. So you can't store a lot of liquid. And if your TXV clamps down for some reason, say your, air, your belt's really loose or something, the, the uh, TXV clamps down um, and the needle starts closing, guess what happens? You're storing a lot more percentage of liquid refrigerant into the condenser because you're not, you're underfeeding the evaporator a lot at that point. And maybe these cannot pump down all the refrigerant or that much of it, and that's a safety feature to just, hey, like the belt's loose or something, so the TXV clamps down, it trips that one first before, you know, and then it just starts flooding the evaporator. Maybe the evaporator gets really cold and then it trips that, freeze that. I don't know, it's interesting. So, I don't know, I'm just thinking of this stuff over, you know, in my mind for the last, like, five minutes right now live, so <laughs> maybe it'll come to me later, but I'm just making guesses. I think I might be on to something. Lennox, guys, tell me what's up.